So in the last video, we talked about a Super Nintendo graphics workflow, if you want to call it, and some of the problems inherent to that. Uh, this video, I just want to talk about some Photoshop stuff. This is a custom animation system um, for Photoshop. I actually used this for sprites in Super Nintendo, but it's kind of, you know, whatever. You can do what you want with it. You can extend it or mess with it to some degree. So these are uh, little animations that I made. They're modular. They're meant to go together for a larger uh, piece. But um, this is the most complicated one, this one right here. Um, so this is about the level of complexity that's convenient to do with them. If you're going to do something like superheroes punching each other, I would recommend maybe doing it in Flash first and then tracing it over in Photoshop because I, I just prefer the, the brush tools in Photoshop better. But again, that's it's raster, so... And I've heard good things about Toon Boom, Toon Boom, but I haven't used that. So, um, you know, if you're making stuff like this, I, I made little, like, you know, POW flash things, like, um, like accents for larger animations that are easy to do in, um, in this method. So let's get into it, right? Let's get into it. So it's based on, on Photoshop actions. And, um, so this is a little bit more annoying to set up in, if you're on a Mac, but you can do it. Um, you just have to go to your system preferences and then just make sure the system ones aren't uh, mapped to the these keys, or you can change the keys, whatever you want, whatever you want to do. Um, so prev previous frame, I have it set to F3. I'll just go back in time one frame, and then Shift F3 will go back in time and down one layer, since each frame will be represented in a, a different layer. And then F4 goes forward in time one layer, and then F Shift F4 goes forward in time and uh, up one layer in the, the layer panel. And then a new frame, the simple one is Shift F5, that just makes a new frame. And then F5 will make a new frame, and it'll make the previous frame visible at a lower opacity, so it's kind of like a, a ghetto onion skin, if you will. And then F2 and Shift F2 just um, change the frame rate. This is, makes it easier for exporting. So let's get into it. Let's do it. So I'm just make a new one, 300 by 300. Keep it simple. Uh, so if you don't have a template set up, sometimes depending on what you do, you may have a bunch of them you need to make. So let's create a frame animation, not a timeline one. And we'll press Shift F2. This will make this uh, frame delay 0 0.03 seconds, which is roughly um, 30 frames per second. Um, it's not. This computer is actually pretty fast, and it won't always display at exactly the right frame rate. But uh, I, I like setting it that way. And then uh, let's put it on forever, so it'll loop. And then we're just gonna do some some quickie like lines moving around. And I won't I won't speed it up because it's pretty fast to do it on there. So I'll just show you. Um, let's draw a line like this. Let's do it a bit smaller. Let's put a little line like this. And then I press. Hold up. Let's go to the layers panel. Oh, let's make a new layer. You need to start with two layers just because how it has to act on the previous layer, what it thinks is the previous layer. So you start with two layers, one la layer is blank. And I don't name the layers when I do um, animations like this because it's just much faster. So if I have to name something to make it clear for someone else, uh, if you're working with someone else, just make a fold. I just make a little folder and group them together. Um, that's useful if you have outlines and fills and stuff like that. So, uh, we'll leave the background on, we'll start again, just do a little line like that, and press F5, and you see the old layer still visible, just grow it out like this, press F5, grow it out like this, press F5, let's just keep, let's keep going, let's just keep going, actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. We're just doing it. Press it at five. Make it look a little longer. Start some new lines up here. Make it a little longer. Make this get a little longer. I'll do this up here. Make this a little longer. So obviously, I mean, animation is animation. This is not, you know. So you have to kind of know after a while you kind of get a feel for uh, when things will happen and let's just like let's just play it back right now so it's going hella slow because 
So we might uh, we might go back and add some frames. That's looking alright. Press F5 hard. So we're gonna try to end this soon. Try to end it down here. Oops. So see, I went press F3, go back in here. Where I go? Okay, so F3, I'm all here. So I want to go back and I press Shift F3, and then I'm, now I'm touching that layer. And then I'll add this back in just so I see what's going on. So it was. We'll try to make this shorter. And this start to fade out. Turn it off. Go back. Um, is that right? That looks okay. So we'll just start to close it up around here. Let's move these over so they won't. Press F5. So I like this. I think this is okay. Let's add let's do some. Let's let's show you so practical purposes, practical purposes. Let's say I wanna these guys wanna extend them out. So what I'll do is I'll just go here. Select that. That one's okay. What I want to do is in the next frame, I want them to still be. Yeah, so I, want, I don't want them to disappear so fast. So what I'm going to do is right here, right here. So I'm going to see them right here. I'm going to make them keep going for a while. Those two frames. That's a lot. So I'm drawing in here, drumming them little dots. F4. Hide that. Shift F4. I'm gonna do one more. Do one more after this. Shift F4. So we get the right layer. So open up the old one. That should be okay. So let's see. That's looking all right. I mean, I don't know what it is, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. Um, so then you just have to make sure before you save it out that you turn off the, you still have the onion skin on. So, okay, so we got we got it at 0.03 FPS. That's good for saving a GIF. So we're going to save a GIF. I'm sure you have to do this. Um, in Windows, it's Control, Shift, Alt, S. That will save a GIF. And then you see it. Got to select GIF. I'm gonna try to minimize the colors. I'll do let's do eight though. Make it so it's less crispy on the edges. And it's playing. And it's only uh, 10.75 kiloboy kilobytes kilobytes. So that's good for Tumblr. I think Tumblr tops out around a megabyte. I think right now. So that's good. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save it as let's just save it on desktop because I'm called a little plopper low plopper okay so okay so the other way you might want to use it is in as an image sequence in after effects so to save it for after effects you're gonna press f2 which makes everything one frame per second why are you gonna do that why are you gonna do that because to save it as an image sequence for um, after effects you're gonna render video counterintuitive I know just get used to it <laughs> so that took a long time so we're gonna say what do we want we want a Photoshop image sequence we're gonna call this low plopper we're gonna put two uh, underscores so that'll have because um, it's gonna add numbers on the end of that and we're gonna save it on 
the desktop just because this isn't for anything. And we're going to create a new subfolder called Lil Plopper. Because it's going to be multiple images. I do PNGs. PNG. We're going to have two digits. Let's say document size. That's what we want. We say one FPS. All frames. And if we had an alpha channel, we might do that. But we don't have one because it's, the background is white. And you render it. Um, let's just say none. Okay, so it saved out. Where did it go? Uh, where, where we saved it? It's on this folder called Little Plopper. So it's an image sequence, and I have it with leading zeros like this. You can name it however you want. So now we are in After Effects. What you want to do is you import to the project. You go to the Little Plopper, Little Plopper folder. Get the Little Plopper. It knows it's a, a PNG sequence. If it's not, you want to click that. You bring it in. This is what an image sequence looks like in After Effects. So let's uh, dra just drag it in. And if you press Numpad Zero or right click, we're in preview. That's what it looks like at 30 FPS. So that looks quite fast. So to slow it down, you can do this. You can right click, interpret footage, main, or control alt G. And let's say, uh, let's just say 15. And we'll loop it 10 times. You can do whatever you want there. And then uh, it'll be slowed down. So let's lengthen this composition to um, say two minutes. I don't know why, because we can. And then bring it out. Oop. Bring it out, bring it in. Go right here, press N. Press N right there. So it's rendering. Play it and it's slowed down. This is half. This is a little slow. Usually I go up to like 18 frames per second. This is okay though. But that's it. You know, you want to take out some drawings. Image sequence in Photoshop. Make it a GIF. Make it a little animation. In uh, After Effects, that's how you do it. Bye bye. All right, bye.